and you, you test it through your patience and you learn patience and understanding with one another with God also. Amen. So when I came about this, my dad said the easiest topic to do is family. Uh, and when, I'm, when I was younger, I had a big question. And I still ask this question now, what is a family? What is a family? Mm -hmm. And when I was younger, and I sat down, I would ask myself the question, what's a family? I would typically give a simple answer of the people, the five, four people I live in my home with. Now, as I've grown older, I seem to realize it's much more deeper than that, especially yes. being here at Sweetwater. <laughs> Family is a group who are there for you, no matter what, no matter the commitment, always helping you grow, even when it's hard. There's people there who don't just love you and give you that warm, fuzzy, warm feeling. It's also the hard stuff, being there with you through thick and thin. Yes. 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 It feels very forgiving, even when you don't feel like sticking it together, even when you're mad. Yes. Yes. In Ephesians five, chapter five, verse 25, Paul says, husbands, love your wives as Christ has loved you and the church, and he gave himself up for her. This is a sacrificial love as what family should reflect. Mm -hmm. It's not just a connection by blood, but a deep commitment to serve and care for one another as Christ has cared for us. Amen. Now I jump to the next question I had as I was looking through my Bible. What does it mean to have a bond? Right, right. Uh -huh. Growing up, my brother old and I did always feel that bond. In fact, we felt more like rivals, especially towards sports, seeing as I would always want to compete with them every day to improve myself and get better. Mm -hmm. In these moments, he was older, stronger at times. He, was, he even seemed like he was smarter, even though he is. My brother is very smart. <laughs> In those moments, I felt kind of inferior. Yeah. It was an underlying connection, though, that allowed me to see him as a role model, yeah. to model myself after him and grow from. Yeah. 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 This bond reminded me that we are still brothers no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. No matter the, situa the situation, the miles, the distance between us, he will always be my brother. Yeah. Yeah. And in Colossians 3, verse 14, Paul, Paul says, put, love, put, on to, put on love, yeah. which binds everything together in perfect harmony. This, bond yeah. family, this is the bond family share. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's easily broken, even when we would sit there and argue, be hard-headed, be stubborn to one another, yeah. and treat each other indifferently. Come on, son. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. you preach. This bond is made, and it comes from God. It is yeah. a gift from God. It yeah. holds us together through good and hard times. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Now, in these bonds, there's something that we need, and that is love. Amen. And when I think about love, I can't just sit there and think about happy moments. Because you have to take the good with the bad. Yeah. Like family game nights or birthdays, I also think it's challenging when I have to forgive my brother after a big fight. <laughs> um, to be honest, I lost. <laughs> but loving each sure other doesn't mean we will never disagree or argue with one another, right. or that we won't feel hurt right. within these relationships. Right. Yeah. It is the idea and the meaning to choose these relationships to stick together even when it's tough. Yeah. Amen. In the first Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7, remind us, it reminds us that love is patient. Yeah. Love is kind. Yeah. Yeah. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Our little patience hasn't really been always easy for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like, especially me with my brother, choosing to be loving and patient and kind to him wasn't always my first option. <laughs> <laughs> but it is right to be kind, pleasing, and loving unto my brother, for God has loved me, so why should I not love him? Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's right. This is the love we should have and call for one another. Yeah. 
do three and then. Now I jump to the fourth part of what I would think is how family relationships would shape us. Yes. Families or relationships are blessings, yes. but it's not to our understanding that it can be very difficult. Yes. My relationship, my brother has taught me much of that. Yes. On one hand, your family provides your biggest supporters, those who know you best, deeply. On the other hand, it's the same people you can hurt for you most. Yes. Knowing that you can fall short of their expectations yes. when you love that person yes. and you want to meet everything possible to do for that person. Yes. And I've been talking a lot about my brother, but I truly love and care for him, seeing as he's soon going to depart from me. Yeah. And I need to build this love and bond with him. Amen. Because Amen. nobody knows what's between my promises. Amen. 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 And it is read in Proverbs 22, verse 6, that a child should be trained up in the way he should go, even when he is old, that he should not depart from it. So why is it that I should not be trained how to love my brother? So even when the miles is between us, I should not treat him the same way I have treated him before in Christ's church. Amen. Amen. Throughout most of this life I have spent with my brother, I have learned many lessons. He has been a wonderful role model for me, is what I was saying. Amen. He's taught me how to love, forgive, and how to solve these deep conflicts and how to properly conduct myself within the church. Amen. 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 Especially when our relationships would become strained, it was essential to work on healing and strengthening this bond with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it shaped me into growing the person I am today. Amen. 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 One thing that you also would need to consider is how to build these healthy relationships. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, relationships all, all relationships get torn and thin. We wear on each other's wires because we're human yeah. beings. Yes. 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 You're not going to always be in the best mood. You're not going to be able to right. walk up to the same person, right. even if they wronged you, and think, I love this person. How many times, countlessly, I will walk up to my brother and I'll be like, man, get out of my face. <laughs> but I had to learn how to build this good relationship with my brother. And I learned that it doesn't just happen overnight. This is not an overnight process. I had to learn to take time to work with my brother and build this bond with him I have today. After years of conflict, I would sit there and have to relearn how to rebuild trust with him. I would have to learn to listen and be patient with him and let go of the past because at the end of the day, tomorrow he will still be my brother sharing my blood. Amen. And it hurts to let go of the past, but, and I would say it hurt a lot when certain situations would have me feeling frustrated and tired mm -hmm. and probably one you never see him again. <laughs> but to say now, the fact that I let go of those past traumas and to say that I can sit here and say that's my brother and I love him deeply, mm -hmm. it's an amazing feeling, an amazing feeling. Amen. It's well yeah. Amen. 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 Which will take me to my next reading, which is Ephesians 4, verses 32 which says to be kind and compassionate to others, forgiving to each other, just as Christ and God forgave you. Amen. Forgiveness is an absolute foundation within relationships. Yes, you know right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute yeah. Foundation. Yeah. For to maintain being healthy, you have to be willing to forgive those who are in your family. Yeah. <laughs> because there are so many trials throughout the world that God has placed before us, but he knows we can endure and handle these challenges. Yeah. And one of the small things, you can't forgive your brother. Your brother in Christ, your brother out on the streets, your neighbor, yeah. right. you will go on living in life easier, much more easier, if you learn to be forgiven. Yes. 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 And it's much, much more than that. Just as God has given us, it will become much easier to learn to let go of grudges. Yeah. Yes. Seeing as 
How are we gonna sit there over years and come to time to be angry at a person over something that may be my news? Yes. Like, oh, this guy didn't show up for my birthday. You know what? Why don't I must let him know? It doesn't make logical sense when you can re you can rebuild this relationship to where he can keep showing up for you. Amen. 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 Now this next part into my lesson is something I learned from my everyday life. It's, it's great opportunities to learn from life and apply it to our Bibles because God is shaped it this way. So within my English class, I have learned a new philosophical way of thinking that says human beings are entirely selfish. Mm -hmm. like the day, there is nothing, anything you can say. Every human being is selfish. Mm -hmm. Whether you take that in a negative sense, it's not always negative. Right. right. It's your way of thinking about it right. from this right. right. Toby Robbins, a philosopher, speaks about these six human needs, which would be certainty, variety, significance, love, connection, growth, and contribution. And within these families, we meet all these needs. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Like, when I would say certainty, I am certain that my family loves me, and at the end of the day, when I go home, I know somebody will be there to support me. Right. Right. Then when we jump into variety, variety is knowing that the family relationship will grow over time, not knowing what will happen the next day. Yeah. Right. To knowing that variety in that relationship that I may have a conflict with this man, or my brother, my father, or my sister, but at the end of the day, they will continue being my family. Right. Amen. Amen. The significance to know that I matter to these people. Right. At the end of the day, human beings are very selfish. Very selfish. Yeah. To know that you are significant to one other person, it will serve you a need in this life. Yeah. And God has made us this way. Amen. To know that you are loved within one of those in, in between these families. The next one I would say is love and connection. This is pretty much obvious, but family provides these deep connections through different disagreements, which we may not have. That love is built upon disagreements. Because as you continue to disagree, you will deeply understand this person. What makes them angry? What you have them to think, oh, I have upset this person. It allows you to. It, there's nothing wrong, I would say, with the argument. But to deeply understand this person after the argument is what this would provide, this love and connection. Amen. 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 The next one, growth. The next human need of growth. Family changes us and allows us to grow. No. no matter the situation, I would probably say, compared to my stubbornness as a child, I've matured a lot more through this patience. And my brother's big contributor to that. Mm -hmm. The last six human need is contribution. Mm -hmm. The six last human need contribution can go in a lot of sense, a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. I would say the best way to explain it though is how we contribute to each other. Mm -hmm. Even though we are selfish human beings, we need to feel giving onto one another. Mm -hmm. As if I've learned from my family that when I go out into the streets to give to the people who are less fortunate than me, that fills me with a sense of pride, knowing that I worship in the house of the Lord, and I'm willing to yeah. give of what's necessary yeah. to another person. Yeah. 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 But the next thing I really want to jump into is understanding the acquaintance of all of this. One lesson I would say, the hard way of understanding the value of understanding is that I didn't try to understand others' perspectives. I was very selfish in the mindset that nobody else is right, I'm right. Yeah. I'm simply said, I'm right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I've grown up around these wonderful people, I would know to learn, there's no possible way I always be right. There's only one man like me. So now that I know I'm not always right, my perspective is not always the proper perspective, I would understand that I must see things from different perspectives. Right. To right. say, if I was in an argument with a peer from school, 
Maybe I should dial back and show more empathy to this person to understand where he's coming from and why he's doing All right. All right. And through this understanding, we can build our, we can build our relationships much stronger. Amen. And throughout these relationships, we learned so far that we need a foundation, which is forgiveness. And then you apply understanding. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure we got a sturdy building right there. We got a sturdy ground. Forgiveness and understanding. But that's not to leave out the roles that families are supposed to play in nurturing. To nurture somebody, it means to help them grow. Yeah. My parents did their very best to nurture me. It's very obvious to see that I'm not out in the streets, but I'm standing before you on this yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Say they nurture me physically because I'm looking pretty decent. <laughs> 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 they have nurtured me to also be an emotional creature, to be understanding. Yeah. And they have nurtured me spiritually. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing for me to be here before y'all. I don't know how much I can say this, but it's a wonderful blessing to speak to all of you. Yeah. And knowing that y'all see me and watch me grow over a period of time, yeah. the strength, the changes yeah. I went through, through the natural, wonderful house and nurturing that I lived through with my family, yeah. it's wonderful to be here in front of you. Yeah. 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 Amen. And in Thessalonians 5, 11, it says to encourage one another and build each other up, for this is nurturing. Yeah. That is nurturing. Yeah. And when nurturing follows, something follows right after it. The faith and love that we grow. Yeah. Yeah. For me to be nurtured up in a righteous house, I have built my faith around the customs that were set in my home. Yeah. I'm starting to realize most of this lesson tied in uh, to what my brother preached. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <sign it>. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the last thing we must jump into is the roles we play in each of these families. <laughs> Each family member has a specific role that God has set for us. Yes, sir. Yes. Me and my brother, as growing up as I did, we had different roles. He had the role of being the oldest within my family. Mm -hmm. And I would always challenge his authority. But he has set roles. He set this role, this bar, that I always would try to reach. Mm -hmm. And it became an ambition to follow and grow with him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I look up to him a far lot, more than I let him know. Um, you know what I'm saying right now? I'm <laughs> <laughs> But all of that, he has allowed me to grow into a, I would say, a fine young man because I would not depart from this path. And I would continue to grow and nurture others around me within my family. Yes. Yes. But in Ephesians 6, 4, it reminds us, Father, do not provo provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in discipline and instruction of the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and these roles, they, they play a lot in contributing in contribution to the family. It reflects the love that God has shown us. Yes. Throughout this family. And just to know that I was brought up in a proper manner and that I could sit here before you and preach to what was my understanding of what it means to be a family. Amen. It is it's wonderful. Yeah. But to sum everything up from what I said to you today, our family and our relationship with God should be our first priority and not even just our first priority, but the way we go about it. Amen. Family is the first place where we learn to love and learn to love God. Amen. Amen. We should treat our family members in the mirrors of the way God would want us to interact with these people. Our family bonds most definitely have not been perfect. There has most definitely been ups and downs in every household. Amen. 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 But it reflects this relationship that God desires us to have that we must be forgiving, understanding, and willing to nurture these people within our households. Yeah. Yeah. God desires for each of us 
to come to him, to understand this love, this caring, this family that he has provided for us, yes. to know the same way in the same manner that he had provided his own son mm -hmm. and has shown selflessness as we have a man, a God amongst men to walk the life in which we should walk. Yeah. Yeah. He has chosen us to love us unconditionally. Whenever we messed up, he will sit there and forgive us and stand by us. Yeah. And that's what it means to call to do so to our families. So as long as we work on our family relationships, and remember, God is at the center of it all. Yes. The patience and love and forgiveness we will show in our families will reflect God's love. Mm -hmm. Whenever we get it right, our families become a testimony to the girls, to the gays. Let me slow that. <laughs> but, but these, this, this, to emulate our families in a proper life. It becomes a testimony to God's grace amongst the world. Yeah. So I would ask of you to commit to loving each other, be understanding to each other, forgiving, yeah. and nurturing to all the people within your households. Yeah. Yeah. And go out into your homes and build your relationship with God. Amen. Amen.